These are some of the dumbest people I've ever seen in a movie. Cop Shop stars Frank Grillo as Teddy. Teddy is an FBI informant being hunted down by Gerard Butler's Bob and other hitmen to prevent him from talking. Teddy is arrested by Val and brought to the police station. Shortly after, another hitman arrives complicating things. Now Val is caught in the crosshair of multiple people who are trying to kill Teddy while also balancing on the edge of morality. And if you're wondering, yes, this is Smoke and Aces. It's the same writer and director. The first thing this film does is offer a 1970s style cop thriller, and that offer ends as fast as the opening credits. Cop Shop attempts to be a slow pressure cooker, but I think Joe Carnahan forgot to turn on the heat. Cop Shop has the pace of a tortoise carrying the One Ring to Mordor. And if things couldn't be slow enough, an action scene is cut off, then followed by an exposition dump as welcome as a drunk in-law parking their car in Grandma's kitchen on Christmas Eve. Also, there are no payoffs in the film. Early on, Val is shown to be a gun enthusiast and a skilled quick draw. There are two scenes emphasized the skill, but it is never once used against anyone. Why waste my time setting something up and never using it? It's like a girlfriend buying that super expensive dress that's gonna take up your side of the bed for a month. It gets a good night's sleep while you're stuck on the couch. Furthermore, Val is left-handed, then switches hands? She wasn't shot in the shoulder, and this is even called attention to with a line of dialogue. Her switching main hand in the middle of this movie, despite the previous establishment, is like Link switching hands in Skyward Sword. And then there's everyone's collective IQ! Blech. There's a scene where a hitman kills characters in an almost direct ripoff of the Slap 2 skit. The scene is played completely straight, and with God as my witness, I blue screened. The worst part is it gets dumber. At a later point in the film, Teddy has his gun drawn on Butler. He fires, but instead of hunting him down, he ignores him and shoots the other guy instead? There are numerous times where characters are about to shoot someone, but someone else pops up out of nowhere and in their line of sight and shoots them instead. A fortune must have been spent to use CGI to remove the horse blinders the cast was wearing like Henry Cavill's mustache in Justice League. At a later point, two cops return to the station and find bullet casings and empty magazines littering the ground. They didn't answer their radio, and they don't bother to radio anyone else, and when they hear suspicious noises, they still don't draw their firearms? Imagine if Ron Goldman walked in on OJ and Nicole with knife in gut thinking, oh, they just must be rehearsing for a play. The worst scene has to be how Val shot herself. That scene is so Fucking retarded, I actually lost sleep over it trying to make sense of it. Actually, if this video breaks a hundred likes, I'll do a full breakdown of that scene and explain why it's so stupid. Cop Shop is the movie equivalent of a politician. Once you get past the trailer and start watching the film for what it is, it quickly becomes apparent that what was promised was nothing more than false hope and four more years of bullshit. These characters are all so stupid, they are the literal reason aliens will never visit us. Characters and guns change traits and characteristics like a manic depressant schizophrenic. The acting is fine with Gerard Butler and Toby Huss commanding their scenes, but the writing is such a piss-poor imitation of those it is clearly inspired by, I think I would rather watch Tarantino and Richie reenact the hit scene from Pulp Fiction with Carnahan as Brett and his roommates. Now, thanks for watching. Please like, share, ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to watch more movie reviews, then subscribe and click here to watch me dump on the headache that was malignant. And I'll see you in the next video.